Hi, Scott Orlum with Cinema Magazine. Okay, all you fans of The Crown, we're now into the late 70s and early 80s, and that brings us to Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher, and that is in the lovely hands of Gillian Anderson. Gillian, obviously, you probably have some cognitive memory of Margaret Thatcher, but stepping into her shoes for this show, did you evaluate and give her a different kind of understanding or appreciation? Um, firstly, I can't not comment on your background. That's very, very cool. Um, uh, thank you for that. Um, I mean, I didn't really have much of an understanding of her from my own experience because I uh, left the UK the same year that she uh, came into office. And, um, you know, other than obviously hearing a great deal of opinion uh, from others about her uh, over the years. Um, so um, I, th there wasn't really an opinion to change necessarily in, in playing her. Um, uh, and so, you know, have I developed an opinion since then in, in having an opportunity to jump into her shoes? Um, I mean, I can, there are certainly many things that I can appreciate about her because of, you know, there were a lot of uh, unique attributes that she had that can be admirable but I also know that she is um you know it's it's hard not to have a polarizing uh, opinion of her and the and the varying um uh policies that she uh played out while she was in office so um it's complicated what well, years ago I remember doing an interview with Meryl Streep and she said that sometimes she accesses her character when she does the hair, when she gets the wig on or something like that. And with portraying Margaret Thatcher, not only did you have the wig, you had the fashion, apparently there was a little extra padding that you kind of had too. What was the one moment where you kind of felt, I've got it? Um, actually, I mean, I think that, that uh, it wasn't necessarily in the first few days. I mean, I, I think that the, the, the look had come together um, but I do think that I, I, uh, I wasn't entirely confident until I, I'd had a few, you know, days walking around in her shoes and, um, had a chance to kind of explore the whole range of, of her, um, emotions, uh, uh, uh while on set. Um, so it's kind of hard to say. Um, I mean, the good news about about the series and 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 how the producers you know schedule it is they 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 take that into consideration and usually will plan shooting uh, in the studio so that if you do uh, trip up or um, you know aren't great that you can come back and and film um, uh, those scenes again without much disruption to the uh to the schedule or or to the budget i want to ask you i mean since i mean it's, it's coming to almost three decades now that people who have been following you on television and i'm wondering that in from x files to the fall to sex education and now the crown these eclectic array of characters is one closer to you do you like the medium because you constantly get to change and become different personalities Hmm. Um, I mean, that, that's, that's exactly kind of why I, I, I like moving between all of them, um, because they, that there are, um, that, that there are attributes to all the mediums. And, um, uh, so I, I think precisely what I like is the fact that, that, you know, I, I have an opportunity living here in London and, um, you know, to be able to do, exactly that um and it means i guess if, if i've been working on something particularly intense in television that one can move to something maybe a bit lighter on on the theater front and and vice versa so it's it's the mix of them all that actually is the the sweet spot i guess well thank you for being probably one of the most uh accessible prime ministers <laughs> that we've seen on television in a long time Jillian. <laughs> crown season four and this is scott till next time Thanks, Scott.